Hunter x Hunter episode 68. The 12 pirates. <laughs> you know what works really well? <laughs> Badgering drunk people. <laughs> Hit them when they're at their most rational. Although that would work sometimes. It's either going to be love or belligerence and nothing in between. Pirates X and X guesses. Belligerence it is. You don't need to play his game. Oh, it fell right into his game. Someone didn't do the hunter exam. You know he's strong because of the veins. Oh, go and just break in the rules. There we go. It's more like it. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a shot real quick. There you go. There you go. That's how you do it. I'm proud and also disturbed. I'm mostly proud. Oh, this is where the sports comes into play? One of these guys plays volleyball or dodgeball. Is this the gym leader? Damn it. <laughs> I mean, it is a video game after all. Otherwise, there's nothing stopping you from just overpowering them. You don't need to do any of this. Oh, this is a whole tournament arc. Sports tournament arc. Why is the show like every other show combined and all of it good? This guy looks like Guile. Is this a uh, like a riff on the Street Fighter theme? Oh, that was Sonic Boom. <laughs> it's gotta be Guile, right? God, your your mistake is a lot of yapping. Gon saw that. Is that gonna even show up in the replay? Oh, damn, that's crazy. He, like, boxing portaled. Yeah, it kind of sucks that you gotta count on everyone. Can't wait to see what Biscuit has has in store. Oh, here we go. I wonder how much how much of her appearance is deliberately crafted by her. By her. Come to think of it, this might be just a glaring oversight or forgetfulness on my part. Have we even seen any of her Nen, like her real Nen? Do we know her type? Go! What's the bigger plan here? Sumo, right, that makes sense. They're taking dives, but for what? What are they, like, re-challenge with fewer people? Okay. Yeah, you just reactivate the, the event trigger. There's some logic there, but I mean, I think the bombers have proven themselves pretty capable. Damn, Kalush is on it recently. Oh, so you can't change the number of people. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Are they gonna invite Hisoka? When is Gon gonna accept my fanfic of the Phantom Troop becoming protagonists? Why... why delay the thing that I want? No, squabbling? What the heck? 
I mean, not really. They don't like fight emotionally like this very often. This should be a very familiar surprise. Is he naked? It's like he knew they were coming. <laughs> so, because like, how can I make myself more creepy? Oh, he's kind of pretty like that. Oh yeah. Damn that ten pack. Soka cl cleans up. <laughs> this is cleaning up. I mean, he's literally cleaning up. I asked for Hisoka in his suit, and I got Hisoka pelvis. Don't do don't no. They even animated the eyes. Why? <laughs> no biscuit. No. Does he wear the whole clown garb and do the whole clown thing to like nerf his looks? Does he suffer from the problem of being too attractive? Is Hisoka the most attractive man in anime? Move over, Gojo. <laughs> the Jujutsu Kaisen author tried. He tried to parallel Hisoka's looks and and came close. Just fell a little bit short. Walk around naked too if I look like that. <laughs> this is the most sexualized anime thing I've seen since Hunter Cyclopedia. <laughs> Oh, this is a rare instance of Hisoka lying. Not a lie. Oh, the truth. The evil you can trust. Do you want to join us for a round of sports? I mean, Bisky could be his type. He just doesn't know yet. Wait, what? I missed the lie. What is the lie? Yeah, that's sometimes good enough. <laughs> that's real. The best way to snip deception in other people is to witness the deception that you yourself have perpetrated. It's the deception you would never consider that blindsides you. If there's a deception in yourself that you're not snipping out on other people, it means there's a there's like a meta or grander deception, which is that you're the only person capable of this kind of deception. I don't know, after that last scene, I don't think he's hiding very much. Why did it have to be there? <laughs> Why did it have to be that shot? This show, this episode is really taking it up a notch. I like how they're both on each other's radar. Soka's like, spells? Y'all <laughs> are smarter than me, because... The sound just is always, the sound just always, the whole time. Oh, it's a trap. It's a trap. Ahsoka's love corner. Oh, I feel like this is the area of the game that will be like age restricted. I'm glad this game doesn't exist because I would never leave it. You don't say. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. So? Okay, yeah. But, like, what's the significance for them, though? Okay, you just need someone for sports. Wait, but he... Wait, he did meet the troop members. Oh, this, this is a deception? Just like he... Oh, God. Also, go always two steps ahead. Did he manufacture the book? Like he manu manufactured that fortune? Yeah. Man, he's so good. <laughs> I mean, 
To answer your question, Hisoka is Hisoka. He's your friend as long as you have a common aim, and he's your enemy as long as you have a rift, or if you happen to stand in his path without having any potential. I don't know, maybe this is arrogance. In the Hunter Hunter world, I think I would ally with Hisoka if it's a sports game or something. I never would have imagined an introduction that I would like Hisoka this much. I feel like just his presence adds so much to the show. There's so much life he breathes into every episode he's in. I mean, it's hard to imagine how they can make a character more disturbing and creepy. And yet, somehow, and I think I'm not speaking for myself alone, he's likable. Make that make sense. To back this up a little bit, I was thinking today about something I was musing about in a previous video. Is that one way of conceptualizing things is that there's there are two branches of measuring success as a person or how we often evaluate people. One of them is goodness, you know, decency, kindness, trustworthiness, being principled, having strong values. The other one is like competence and winning. Both of those things, both of those branches at their extremes are respectable in their own right, but are lacking without the other. If someone is both good, virtuous, moral, kind, and competent, and the person is at the highest element of both of those, that's what I think we would consider heroic. That's what the heroes in, in Chonin are. Not only are they really good people and fight for the things they feel are right and have compassion for their fellow man and respect creation and respect life, they also have the ability and intelligence and, and competence to adequately defend it while maintaining their values. I might even go so far as to say that being at the extreme end of one and not the other can often be terrible and also doesn't necessarily guarantee that the person is purely that one extreme. So for example, let's take someone who never does anything wrong, exhibits signs of kindness, follows the rules, doesn't do any damage. The question of, is it purely what they are? Are they doing that because that's really what they think and they've arrived there and they're awake and they understand and they deeply feel the importance of being good? Or are they just hemmed in by society and fear reprisal? Are they just not brave enough or strong enough or competent enough to engage in the battleground of competence? If it's that, then the goodness, while I guess being desirable from a societal perspective and you know definitely not the worst thing you could be, actually implies something kind of dark and non-desirable. It's not that you're good, it's that you're like so much of a nothing that you can't be anything else but good. The other extreme I think is a bit more obvious, you know, if you're just competent, you can always win. You're very tactical, you see things clearly and get your way, but you don't have the, the moral underpinning. You're just a threat, you can't be trusted. Your your strategy for life is not iterative. It's ultimately gonna be destructive. And there's definitely an ignorance, probably a willful ignorance of what I would argue is an objective-ish moral structure for, for humanity. Back to Ahsoka, two points. One, he actually has a lot of those things. His leading thing, I think, is the competence element of it. He has that intelligence in the, the true practical meaning of the word intelligence, or at least the way I think of it. That kind of real living living intelligence that's, you know, not about book smarts or facts or whatever, but can engineer one's life towards one goal successfully. He's so capable, in fact, that he rarely needs to hide his lack of morality. Now, I would actually argue that while Hisoka is not a moral person, he does have his principles. He's not unthinking in the value sense. What's cool is that he's so capable, it has a weird effect of like spilling over into the other category where he actually ends up feeling honest. It's like I've been calling him honest evil. Not to say he's not a total liar. I mean, he's lying right now, but he's very honest, at least about like what he is. There's not really personality hiding. And I think it works especially well in the Hunter x Hunter universe because what the show seems to have done is ask the question or create a scenario where it's like, what if the world and all its structures were determined by capability? You get the sense that Nen is such a game changer, so overpowered that like police don't apply, law doesn't apply. It's just powerful people that are hashing it out amongst themselves and things will fall where they may for the most part. So Ahsoka being what Ahsoka is, is like extra valuable in this particular world. In summary, Ahsoka is not a good person, but it's almost like his evil is supported by better things than some people's goodness. This is the reflect one, right? Reflect slash dispel. Oh, he's a Mew. <laughs> Gon's like, I'll never ally with a Phantom Troop, these damn hypocrites. But Hisoka might be alright. That's that Gon consistency. And yet Gon ends up being always right through sheer power of will.